What's happening, you kind folks on the World Wide Web? Welcome to 2022. This week is the first week of my first videos in 2022 right here on the iPaint Creatures YouTube channel. If you've been here before, you know what happens. I'm showing you archives from, from my artistic journey. I paint and draw from my imagination. And uh, you can check out my Instagram. Go out and check my Instagram to see all the final finished pieces. But here's a, a, a piece that uh, I'm revisiting that actually I don't own anymore. Uh, it was uh, basically Tezuki. That's the main uh, character in my story, Matsu. And she's amazing. And she's wearing a, a Sheru tattoo right here. And uh, had a lot of fun painting this one. And uh, originally done it on a smaller canvas and then uh, sold that one. And so I uh, just wanted to render it again. And I'll probably render it and keep going a bigger canvas the next time. Because uh, it's such an iconic image. But today I'd like to talk about a quote. It's a Vietnamese proverb, right? So we don't know who the author is, but it's one of those compelling truths that definitely affected me in a way that uh, got real excited when I, when I discovered it. And it says, when eating fruit, remember the one who planted the tree. Woo! And a lot of times... Uh, First, I like to focus on the, the fact that uh, you just got to acknowledge that sometimes you plant the tree. You think from, you think out beyond all the obstacles and you see where it finally arrives to a point where it's just perfect, you know, and it arrived perfect. So you're the one who planted the tree. And a lot of times to, to keep that focus is keep that gratitude toward uh, that you are thinking from and, and you're seeing, you know, what you desire and what's out in front of you. And the other way around is something that, uh, you know, I have done my whole life and I must have got the values from either growing up or my family or just the culture I grew up in the Bay Area. But I've always done my art and always acknowledge in all the processes, uh, how they lived their life, how they did it, but all the incredible creators who came before me. And uh, realizing my name, I Paint Creatures, uh, definitely made me look at like, uh, you know, that is definitely a valid thing to paint creatures in this world. And so I remember looking at, you know, several um, luminaries, visual storytellers that paint creatures and tell creature stories. And uh, there was, you know, Shel Silverstein and there's Dr. Seuss and there's Moy Sendex and there's incomparable Jim Henson and the Shigeru Mizuki and Joseph Campbell and Charles Schultz and Akira Kurosawa, right? And so those are all what I discovered are, were cr basically creature or critters, you know, magic creature storytellers. And I don't do anything when I move a paintbrush around or tell stories or direct the funky eye puppets that doesn't acknowledge that they planted the tree. And uh, it gave me a, a grand view of what I naturally do and how I can do my original self in the form of, you know, being a creature storyteller and uh, creating creatures that, uh, you know, help us reflect and, and uh, illuminate our insides and, and look at ourselves in a fun and engaging way and imaginative and, and uh, you know, that still keep the mystery wide open, but also fill in you know, purpose and movement and motivation. And so, yes, definitely uh, when you're eating the fruit, when you're enjoying, you know, the fruit, the benefits, the, the art and how it makes people feel or whatever it is you do, you know, definitely acknowledge who planted the tree and look backwards. And so the first mode is be in gratitude and, and uh, acknowledge that you might have planted the tree. And be proud of that and continue that to think from and think from the beyond. So when you're eating the fruit and seeing the joyous, joyous accomplishments, remember who planted the tree. Thank you very much. I'll see you real soon. Peace.